everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video, I'm really excited, you guys, because it's a Goodwill haul and I got some good stuff. <laughs> so um, anyways, I am wearing um, my dress that I bought at Goodwill um, like a few like a week or two ago now, right? It was about a week or two ago. Let me, I'll stand up and show you really cute, how cute, how cute it is. Um, I have it, which is a skirt on and a tank top. The tank top's kind of rolling up here. But um, I have it unbuttoned, kind of like a cardigan, and I'm just wearing it like that. It goes pretty much to my ankles, um, almost to my ankles, I would say. So anyways, I'm wearing it, and I thought I would um, mention that because um, I was in love with this when I found it, you guys, and um, I'm just so, so happy that I was able to put it together and, like, make an outfit out of it, you know? So anyway, so $5.99, this was from Goodwill, like, a few weeks ago, and it's, like, vintage, guys. This is, like, I think literally right from 19, like, 80s period or early 90s. I'm not for sure. The tag looks really old um, as far as, it, like, the, the way the tag is. It looks vintage. So I hope you like this, you guys. So yes. All right. So... Let me talk about this Goodwill haul, you guys, because this one I'm so excited about. Okay, so um, I went to the Goodwill um, yesterday, and I, you guys, like, I am so, I'm like speechless with what I found. Okay, but let me start with a couple of other things I found, which are also really cool. I think I'm going to save the best for last, okay? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this Goodwill haul. I'm so, so excited. Okay. The first thing I found, you guys, um, or I bought it, was this Christmas ornament. And, okay, so here it is. So now this was a gamble because it didn't have a battery in it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's operated, battery operated. It looks pretty beat up. The um, battery, um, you know, it looks like it's been chipped and, and stuff like that. So I had one of these when I was growing up. We have, my mom and dad still have one. I was just talking to my mom um, and she says that she, we have it. She just doesn't know where it's at. Um, but we had one of these like growing up, like very similar and it's a musical bell, you guys. And I just it brings back such wonderful memories. So I just, you know, love Christmas time. As you guys know, um, I put up like six trees or more, like a lot of Christmas trees. So anyway, this was marked at 150, 150 right there. I can see the price. And so there, you, sometimes you guys, Goodwill will have batteries at the front that you can check uh, the electronics to see if it works. Um, and she said, if it didn't work, um, I could bring it back with the receipt within 24 hours. So let's, let's say I got home and it just didn't work. I have 24 hours to bring it back for like, I guess probably a store credit. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, okay, it works you guys, that's the good news. Um, it is a little bit, um, it's loud, so, um, but I love it. So anyway, it was $1.50 and it was worth every penny. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys. switches so that is it plays all different types of music and um, it goes through a lot of different um, a lot of different uh, what was I gonna say uh, I'm drawing a blank music a Christmas music so um, I don't think it does it So it starts with Jingle Bells. So I, it sounds like it might be a little broken, but I'm not sure, but it still plays beautiful music and I'm, you know, really happy with it. So anyway, $1.50, I'm really, really happy with it. So, you know, it's got cute little like hollies and holly berries and all that on the edge. It is chipped on this side, but it doesn't matter to me because it's gonna go, you know, in a tree, you won't be able to tell. So I'm totally fine with that. All right, let's go on with the next item on my, what I bought. Okay, so I bought this for, um, this is a cowboy boot, and it's got a little, I think this is called the spur, right? Um, this was $1.49. I don't know if you can see with the light right there, $1.49. Um, this I bought for, um, it's really sad, but I bought, it is really sad. I bought this for my Uncle John's, um, his grave. So my it's my uh, mom's brother, my uncle, he passed away. And um, he was a cowboy, so I, I um, bought him, I found a cowboy boot at the um, Goodwill like a year or two ago, and uh, my mom put it at his grave, but then this one's even bigger, and this one's even like nicer, so she's going to put this at his grave, because we put flowers and stuff at his grave, like, um, 
and we decorate it for each like or my mom dec dec decorates it for each um, season so anyway so uncle john would would really like this um boot so it reminded me of him so i found i mean i bought it because this will look really nice on his um you know in memorial for him on his grave uh grave so we'll probably put flowers coming out of it or whatever it's like kind of like it's a vase so anyway dollar 49 you guys so all right then the next thing i got was this i'm so excited guys i'm so excited i bought a kitty so cute it kind of goes with my outfit huh like totally matchy it's so sweet you guys look at his eyes and he's got real whiskers real little whiskers i mean not real but you know what i mean like string whiskers and um <laughs> his bow is totally like victorian looking i love hers his or her bow i don't know if this is a boy or girl cat um but the price is was it was debatable but i went up there i'm like is that a dollar 49 or 249 she said 249 said so i said okay because it kind of looks like it could be both 149 or 249 but you guys it's in perfect condition i like i said i love this like victorian looking bow so adorable i love cat um decorations like it just i can't it's just too cute too cute so i'm in love with it there's the back i mean it's really in mint condition the tail the tail has like little like um like um like it's got shadow like they painted it with like shadow effects or this two-tone cat i don't know if this is like a tabby i don't know what Anyway, it's beautiful, beautiful. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I could talk about this cat all day because I love this cat. So we'll move on, but I'm really happy I found this for $2.49. So, all right, the next thing I got was a candle holder. So I love these candle holders, you guys. I really, really love these. Um, I use them when I burn candles. I burn a lot, not a lot of candles, but I burn candles every day probably. Like really I do. And this was originally $5.95. And I got it for $1.49. And I think it's beautiful with like the amber stones looking stones on it. And um, you see, I'll hold it still. So, and then it's just going to hold my candles. This is the price right there, $1.49. And um, yeah, I think it's really, really pretty. And I really like candle holders. Like, I don't know. I just do. So, you know, sorry it's not showing up. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. Okay. Then the next item I got was... What is this? What is this? Okay. This is, I haven't tried it on yet. I hope it fits. This is a beautiful, beautiful Indian skirt. Look at this, you guys. Let's just look at this for a minute. Look at the, um, the, the stones, um, the beading, the beadwork. Um, and it's just, it gets even prettier as a skirt goes down it gets more and more like um inter intricate i can't say the word intricate i can't say that word um look look at this you guys look at this isn't that amazing oh i love this so much look at this dress or the skirt oh my gosh let me hold it still so you guys can see i'm gonna go closer in so you can see um so this this skirt was um, hanging on one of the racks uh, for that they were bringing stuff from the stock room out. And so I was looking through that rack and this hadn't been priced yet, but um, I got it for $5.99. You guys, this would be way more money if this was brand new. Um, I just, I'm in awe of it. I'm in total awe of it. Look at this. I have been wanting one so bad, you guys. Like so bad, I've been wanting an Indian skirt. Um, and uh, for those who are new to my channel, first of all, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and I mentioned, um, I've mentioned before, um, my husband is from India, so my husband's Indian. And so I really love the Indian culture. I think the, the clothing is so beautiful. Um, so I have been wanting one of these to take a photo, like, like a special photo with my husband. Like, I think it'd be beautiful if I were wearing this and um, just like a, we get dressed up kind of photo and I just think it's just so beautiful. So yeah, there it is, you guys. I'm gonna feel like a million bucks in this, you know? And it's got an elastic back, which I'm like, yes, I love elastic. So I can, you know, it fits better and yeah. All right, so there's the back too. The back has just like this plain uh, beading little sequence on it. And then the front has, I mean, isn't it just 
regal. It, that's the word, like so regal. Oh, I love this. Do you know how hard this would be to make? This is like all hand embroidered or hand, um, you know, the, what's the word? All done by hand. So anyway, $5.99, you guys. I'm really excited. I don't know how I'm going to wash that yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to wash this. I got to figure that out because I don't want the diamonds, or not diamonds, but the sequins to fall off and, and I have to wash it in order to wear it. So I'll figure that out. <laughs> okay. Then I picked up this beautiful cami for me. Isn't this so gorgeous, you guys? Oh my gosh. Look at how it's like, it's two and like one. So you get like two and one effect. It's made by S, uh, it looks like ASOS, A-S-O-S, A-S-O-S. And maybe they never wore it because the tag is still on there. But you guys, look at this. It's like so delicate. I'll go closer so you can see. See how it's got like the, I forget what those little polka dots are called. But look at the lace and it's like a camisole. So I think it's going to be so pretty on, you guys. Look at how beautiful and like delicate it looks, you know. You guys know I love lace so much. So I haven't seen anything quite like this before. So I was like, yes, I'm so excited, you know. And then the back is just plain. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be so beautiful. Um, $3.99 is all I paid. So yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited. Yay. I know. I'm like, oh, it's even more. I don't think the camera's picking up how pretty it really is in real life. I don't, I mean, not real life, but it's not reading <laughs> it, this in like real time. I don't know how to say it <laughs> for lack of better words. I don't think the camera's picking up how delicate this is. It's just so pretty. So the next thing I picked up and then we're going to get to the last two items that are amazing as these are amazing. I think in my heart, I feel like these are amazing, but these other two items are pretty amazing. Okay. I picked up this for my son uh, for winter time. It's an old navy. So I'm hoping they go back to school um, in the fall. So I have, you know, I like to buy a lot of my kids, coat, not all of them, but some of my kids coats. The camera just went weird there, the lighting. Um, I like to buy a lot of my kids coats at Goodwill for school because um, first of all, they have some really great coats at Goodwill. Second of all, if it gets lost or misplaced, um, I, I'm not out a lot of money. You know what I mean? So this was only, this is an old Navy puffer jacket for my son, Roman. Um, and he's going into kindergarten and this is a size five and he's five years old, but this looks big. You guys, I feel like old Navy, they size up. Like, I feel like this is, looks way bigger than a five for a five year old. So, um, I was totally good getting this at, as a size um, five. This was only $2 and 99 cents. So yeah, I was like, this is a great, great deal. Or if we go up to the snow, you know, in California, we do get, we get the winter weather as well, but we'd never get snow where we're at, but we get like rain and all that kind of stuff. So we definitely need this for school and stuff like that. Okay. The last two items. All right. I'm so excited to show you this. Okay, I don't know, even know how to where to start with this. Um, I was debating whether I should do a video on its own of this because I don't want to take too much of time going over this um, because it's a lot of goodness in here. But uh, So I'll try to breeze through it, but I also don't want to go too fast where you don't see what is in it. Okay, so if you can't already see from the little bit I was showing you, you guys, this is a Princess Diana, like, I can't say the word right, Commem commemorative, uh, it's her st the stamps of Princess Diana, so it's, uh, okay, it was $15.49, so I'm going to show you all of this, you guys, so I was looking on eBay when I was at Goodwill when I saw this, and I was checking eBay, and one very similar missing, I have more in this pack than what is on eBay, was selling for $80 plus shipping, so this is pretty, like, a lot of people like this stuff, you know, and I, I mean, I think it's amazing. I loved Princess Diana. So, um, anyway, these are all stamps, you guys. These are Princess Diana, and it's, like, beautiful stamps, and, I mean, I never in a million years thought I would come across this. I mean, this is something very special, and um, so, yeah, there's all these stamps. I'm going to go in a little closer so you can see, and uh, let me show you. There, There's so many so many in here. Like, okay, I'm not going to, these are sealed. These are factory sealed, sealed, steel. Am I saying that right? Like a tongue twister. Um, some of them, so you can see I'm going to go in closer. These are stamps. 
These are all like commemorative. So in the back, it says certificate of authenticity. This certifies that the accompanied Princess Diana Royal Hats plate block of number nine is an official legal tender postage stamp, stamp issue of Equatorial Guinea recognized by every postal authority around the world. The number below has been assigned to the block, thus assuring its limited edition status. So they put a um, certificate of authenticity on the back. And this is like crazy, right? Crazy. So apparently I could put this on a letter right now and mail this and it would, I think, go through the mail. Though I won't do that because this is like art, you know what I mean? I just think it's, I feel like it's, I'm not sure, but I feel like it's considered like a forever stamp. You know how forever stamps never lose their value because you know how postage goes up and down. And then so they, this one is um, more stamps of, um, this one's from 19, I don't uh, know how this is, I, I have to research this some more. But um, it says 1961 to 1997, and so on and so forth. So there are so there are a ton, a ton. These are all stamps, you guys. These are all stamps. And again, all the certificate of authenticity on the back. This one's with all her beautiful like um, gowns that she wore. Some of her beautiful gowns. Oh my gosh, she had a great fashion designer. Great fashion designer. Like the stuff that she wore, I would wear. For sure, for sure. I think of all these dresses in this um, this picture of the stamps, um, my favorite is like the one I would probably wear if it was like, if if I could choose. Oh my gosh, they're all so beautiful. I think I would choose, oh, they're all so pretty. Um, they, they would never look as good as, on me as her, but um, I don't know. I kind of like the middle one a lot, like this middle one right here. So I don't know. I just, they're all gorgeous. Okay. Then these are all stamps as well. More stamps. I mean, so it just, we could be here for like days and days going over these stamps. You guys, there's so many. It's unbelievable. This is like, um, this is her wedding dress. Look how beautiful. And, um, it just, there's so much to look at, right? And then the back has, you know, it's, it's a sealed, it's, you know, so anyways, I, I'm so intrigued by these. They, they're just so amazing. Oh, I feel like I just got really lucky, you know, this was over in the jewelry department, um, in the case with all the jewelry and like, they have like, um, you know, purses over there in this part of the Goodwill. So there's this, the, uh, authenticity there. And then Princess Diana, some more and more and more stamps this one has like it's, it's so interesting how they did this like that's a stamp but it shows her whole dress and then more of the these are all authenticated i don't know if that's a word <laughs> sorry and here's another one and this is her wedding one isn't that amazing you guys that was the wedding i, I think this was the wedding stamp i think and this is the one, they're all so beautiful, these stamps. Okay, and here's the last stamp. This um, says 31 cents, I believe. All right, and the last two pieces of things in here, and then I have something else to show you, is this. I'm not quite sure what this is. It says the Royal Wedding First Day Cover. And I'm trying to figure it out. Um, it does have, so these are the stamps. It talks about it on the back. Um, and... Um, it has some information, so I just have to read more about this, but this is all in there. So that was in there. And then this is just amazing, right, guys? It's like a piece of history. I'm just, yeah. And then here's the, another one. It says the Royal Wedding. It's just, and I think it's a duplicate. I think it's the duplicate again. So anyway, and then there's the, it talks about the artist and then it's on an envelope. I don't know why it's on an envelope. I have to read more about this. But so that is that for $15.49. Oh my gosh, you guys, right? Oh, I know. I am um, really excited to have found this. Really, really excited. That's what I love about Goodwill, you guys. You just never, never know what you're going to find. It's like, it's a mystery. And that's what I love about it. I just, you never know what you're going to find. Okay, the last thing has got me so excited too, you guys. Okay. I don't know if you guys remember, I've talked about chandeliers. I love chandeliers. My last house we moved here about, we bought this house about, I think it's been four years that we bought this house. Our other house that we had, we sold, 
had a chandelier literally in every, pretty much every room had chandeliers, like one over the front door, one in the dining room, one in the laundry room, one in the middle of the hallway upstairs, one in the kitchen, one in the, I mean, everywhere, you guys, everywhere. And so uh, those, when we sold that house, they wanted those chandeliers, obviously. So um, we moved here, we bought this house, we put up and I'm, I'm going to put chandeliers everywhere in my house. So we put up one though already, and then we just have to get the rest. Mo not every room will have them at this house, but um, I want to put more up. So I found a chandelier, you guys. I am so, so amazed by this. I am so, so absolutely amazed by this and so happy to have found it. It was laying there with like all the like, it was just like shoved in, in a... Um, What's the word? Shoved in the rack. Okay, sorry, it got stuck. It's stuck. I want to give you guys the whole. Um, there we go. The hangers got stuck. Okay, so it's a candle, like candle chandelier. It holds candles, which I won't burn candles with this. I'm gonna probably buy like an LED, you know, the fake candles, um, you know, the fake looking candles, um, and then that way I can like have it on safely. But you guys, you ready for this? This is. This is amazing. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, right? So we have a black chandelier over our kitchen table. That's a bigger version of this. It's actually got lights. It works with lights, but um, it's the same one we had at my other house. Um, we, we have the same one over here. Um, but this one is like a smaller version, like a miniature version of the one over our kitchen table. And like I said, the one on our kitchen table is all black crystals. It's so pretty, but it has real LED lights and everything. So this is like, oh, I'm so excited to have found this, you guys. So it hangs on a hanger, which we have one. Um, so all I have to do is hang it from the ceiling and it's so beautiful. Look at how the light catches it. It's just so opulent. I love it so much. So when I took it to the register, it didn't have a price on it. See how it has tape? It has tape right there. So um, it either got wiped off or something. So they um, priced it at $4.99 for me. <laughs> so I am so thrilled to have to be the owner of this gorgeous lighting fixture. Oh, everything is there, all the crystals. I'm, I'm going to go in closer so you guys can see. This is just gorgeous, right? Look at this. Look at this long one down the middle. So, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I could put like red candles in there at Christmas time, you know, change it up. Anyways, I am so excited, you guys. I am so, so excited about this. This is like ugh, worth my trip. Just this alone was $4.99. This was worth my trip. I think I spent a total with everything I showed you. The receipt's right here. The receipt is um, with tax. I paid $39.92 for everything I showed you. $39.92. This, this beautiful chandelier alone has to be at least $40. At least, I'm thinking, you know? Um, so I'm just so excited. Anyways... I could talk about this all night long, so I won't, but I could because I love chandeliers so much. So it goes back to, you know, you guys know I mentioned I love the Victorian period so much. And this just reminds me of the Victorian decor and oh, I love it so much. So anyways, guys, yes, so that is my Goodwill haul. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Um, I would love to hear what your thoughts are, what your favorite thing is that I bought. Um, and I really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me so, so much. Um, yes. So have a wonderful Saturday. Thank you guys so much again for all your love and support. And I'll see you tomorrow with my next haul. Okay. So till next time, everybody take care. God bless you all. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.